It's Sydney's most famous annual event, and this year more than a million people are expected to turn out for the fireworks to ring in the new year. But in a bid to stop the night from turning sour, organisers will be setting up safe spaces around the city to make sure everyone gets home. It seems like this on New Year's Eve. These guys want to stop. I'm trying to nip the aggression in the bud before it escalates to an assault. The Salvation Army has teamed up with the Thomas Kelly Foundation, transforming the city's six information booths into safe spaces. All night, volunteers will provide first aid, water, phone charges and internet access from booths located at the Rocks, Customs House, Wynyard, QVB and Macquarie Street to make sure those seeing in 2016 get home safely. Unfortunately, you get some people who get a bit of drink in the system and get aggressive and we want to make sure that those people, those situations and incidents are resolved really quickly and without anyone getting hurt. Trained to defuse particularly violent situations, they'll be on hand when thousands flood the city and vantage points around the harbour to view the $7 million firework display at 9pm at midnight. On the night, public transport will be the easiest way to get in and out of the city. To keep up with demand, an extra 4,500 services have been put on, but make sure you plan ahead. Trains will not stop at Circular Quay between 6pm and 1am, while temporary bus stops will be in place throughout the city. For those travelling north, the Harbour Bridge will also close from 11pm, with buses stopping at North Sydney. It's the most important thing, that everybody has a fantastic night and gets home safely. Kate Creedon, Nine News. Day two of the boxing.